Well, hi guys and good morning. Well, welcome over here to, uh, to the Fallbrook Reservoir. Today is uh, Sunday, it is June 11th. Uh, yeah, absolutely uh, beautiful day. It's around 75 degrees right now. We're supposed to get in the 80s today. So I feel pretty good. We did a, the uh, summer stroll last night for about two hours, walked down to the city. And uh, just let you know, it was going okay. Uh, let me flip the camera on so you can see what I'm looking at. Well, this is uh, the reservoir I was talking to you about. Isn't it beautiful up here? You got the, uh, this is, now this is the other side of the reservoir. Now we were at the, uh, if you was following my post from a few weeks back, we were at the Haywood Reservoir. This is adjacent to that from the right side when you're coming down Sholin Farms. It's a little bit of a hike down to the path, maybe about a mile. Uh, so I did okay. So today is, uh, I think it's either week 145 or 146, uh, weight loss results. Just let you know how everything went and what went on with the doctor appointments this coming past week. So uh, first of all, I'm Ron. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and subscribe to the channel? It helps other people know when they post videos. And like I said, I'm not sure if we're on week 145 or week 146. I think it's week 146, but I'm not sure. But I'll have the correct uh, week in the timeline. But anyways, uh, like I said, today is July, uh, June 11th. And if we look over here, we got a plane over there in the sky area, if you can see it. And you can hear the uh, birds chirping in the background. And I thought it'd be a pretty good, uh, you know, video to get today. So, uh, yeah, so we had a pretty good week as far as weight loss goes. We stayed the same. So I would say uh, having no weight loss this week or no weight gain is a, is a uh, scale victory. And I'm fine with that. Uh, did the Friday bingo. I didn't. I volunteered. I needed to take another night off because of my feet. So we, we played, but everybody thought my wife and I were fighting. And uh, what was funny about it is because I sat in a different place and I just wanted to be by myself. You know, I'm sure some of you guys and gals that are married can relate to that once in a while. No big deal, you know, but I didn't win and I did get $10 yet, but I mean, uh, that's not really that much. My wife didn't win and uh, so I had a good uh, big old night anyways, meeting up with friends and that's a bug flying in my ear. Um, probably a mosquito or a mayfly, but, uh, yeah, so today, uh, or yesterday, rather, I, I got my uh, fishing license, and I uh, went down to Walmart's today, and I picked up some more fishing gear and another reel that I needed to get, and they're going to go fishing this afternoon, and I'll have another video from that when I do, hopefully, if I catch any fish, and, uh, oh, so you want to know about my feet? Well, well, let's, let's get to the feet area. So this past week, yeah, the dermatologist didn't want to see me no more because I was being treated at the wound center and Dr. Cadaldo was treating me and now Dr. Green, which I had him before, uh, Dr. Cadaldo. Uh, so the wound center said the feet look really good. I don't need to go see them anymore and that's fine. The dermatologist, I'm all done with her because she uh, didn't want to see me anymore either. And I got pissed off there because I still got psoriasis on my uh, side of my leg over there. And it's really, really bad at times. So, okay, that's fine. Okay, so we're all done seeing her. Now, on the bright side of things, when I went to go talk to Dr. Green on uh, Thursday on my afternoon appointment, he told I asked him, what the heck is really going on? I want to know what's going on with my, my feet. And uh, I don't have diabetic. I'm not a diabetes. I don't have any of that. So basically, it was psoriasis. So all this time, psoriasis, and I had a toe fungus growing on my uh, outside of my toes. So we got rid of the toe fungus with some uh, medication that the uh, wound center gave me, and that, now that's fine. And then I was also using Vicks Vapor Rub to get rid of some of it. And, they, and of course, when he smoothed all my toes down to where they should be now, I'm good to go for a little while. I made an appointment with him on a follow-up or a three-month follow-up. I'm not going to go back to Dr. Cadaldo, and I was when I was in the uh, our area hospital called the Health Reliant, which is a uh, uh, facility where people go for doctors. There, yeah, they're going to start taking new patients in the fall. And some of the old doctors are going to take some more patients, and so I'm going to go back there along my way for myself because everything is right there. The lab, the X-rays. I don't have to travel outside the city, and then I could just uh, uh, if I need to go to Worcester or something, I could take the bus right into Worcester, and the insurance pays for it. So that's where we are with that. Now, on the carnival weight loss plan, it's going okay. Remember, this is all about baby steps for the month of June. I'm still doing keto, still doing carnivore. And, uh, oh, the, you know, the uh, Dr. Green and the other, some other doctors were telling me they're okay with me doing keto and carnivore. But they want me to incorporate more vegetables and more fruits. And every now and then, if you want a fruit that is not really appropriate to have on keto, have it anyways. And just uh, in moderation, which is I'm doing anyways. 
But um, yeah, other than that, guys, it's going really good. I hope you enjoyed this short little video from uh, Fallbrook Reservoir. We had so Shaolin Farms. Now, the, I, I've seen uh, four-legged deer come through here now and then, but I haven't seen any lately. Um, and I know they got bear here, wild animals over here, but I, I haven't seen any. But not, if I came across a bear, I'd probably freak out, but I'd make a lot of noise. I d definitely don't want to run into a bear with mother if she was a mother with cubs. That wouldn't be a good thing. But I brought my uh, cane over here for safety, and uh, what's going on is my leg is giving out a little bit. But um, uh, giving back to my feet there, uh, yeah, my feet looking really good. What was going on too with the psoriasis? It was causing my feet to dry up and crack and bleed. And um, when you're walking, when you when you got splits on the bottom of your feet and they're pulling apart as you're walking, that was causing my feet to bleed. And I didn't want an infection to get in, so I was really, really forced to stay off my feet most of the day and uh, just give me time to heal. And uh, I'm thinking about going back to work at the end of June, beginning part of July. Uh, I'm going to ask Angelo if I can have my job back. I'm going to do the picking job again, but I don't, I, I don't want full-time. I only want it part-time, two or three days a week. And... Uh, I'd be happy with something like that. And if they gave me more hours, that would be cool too. So I'm going to get ready to kill a video. Don't forget to be watching for some more videos. And one more thing before I go. Monday, I'm going to be doing a live video with Janny from uh, Energy Healing uh, with the Soul. And we're going to be talking about uh, a lot of the, uh, the uh, stuff that I like to listen to, talk about, which is, um, you know, what you don't see in the news area. And also... Um, we're going to be talking about my weight loss and uh, the ketogenic lifestyle and carnivore and uh, some spiritual stuff that I've uh, been encountering from time to time. So be watching for that. That comes on at 5 o'clock on Monday. She's giving me some prime time. She's from California, so her, her uh, video is three hours different than ours because we're in the East Coast. But anyways, be watching for that. Uh, thank, you, thank you guys for all your prayers. So much They were much appreciated to get me through some tough times. Oh, by the way, too, when I... Uh, we realized it was just psoriasis after all this time. I started sleeping a whole lot better, and I got and you know more less and less stress. For instance, like last night when I fell asleep after we got home from the stroll, I fell asleep at seven and I woke up at five o'clock wide awake this morning, and uh, I felt really refreshed today. So I wanted to get a little bit of a light walk in today before it got too warm. And I'm like, now I'm going to go now to, um, like I said, I'm going to go now to uh, Barrett Park today and go down and do some fishing at Colburn Pond. And uh, I, I just, I just a catch and release guy. I don't keep the fish, and, it, and it's just fun, you know. If you got grandchildren or something like that, why not take them fishing and teach them how to fish? You know, they'd really enjoy it over the years. But anyways, thank you guys for uh, the prayers again. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Be watching for some more recipes. Uh, remember, remember, I love you. God loves you. Have an amazing day, and stay safe and stay healthy.